Let's talk about lead acid batteries. A lead acid battery is quite literally two pieces of lead in acid. Lead acid battery in your car usually does not drop below 50% state of charge. And we do this on purpose. The reason behind it is because the lead that is immersed in the sulfuric acid is actually spongy lead. The reason we call it this is because there's lots of holes and nooks and crannies inside of there to increase the surface area of the electrode. Higher surface area, more power. However, if you drop below 50%, a few things can happen. Sulfate crystals begin to form, which blocks these pores. This reduces the surface area, which then reduces the battery capacity. If you keep doing this over and over again, it will actually make the electrode brittle and fall apart. Usually we also avoid really high states of charge to stop from electrolysis being the preferred thermodynamic reaction. What does that mean? It basically means there's a lot of reactions happening and there is one reaction that we really want to happen and we try to make the conditions always favorable for this reaction. At high states of charge, electrolysis becomes too favorable and overcomes the reactions that we actually want. And instead, water begins to break down, forms hydrogen and oxygen, and that's not a good thing you want to be forming in your cell. I hope the simple explanation of a lead acid battery in your car shows why we are avoiding high and low states of charge. Oh God, that is so heavy. At least it'll make for a funny intro.